Hey, gente, tudo bem? We are going to take a look at the past perfect in Portuguese and <clears throat> how uh, we use this verb tense, okay? So let's see that in English first. When, so let's see the explanation here in Portuguese. In Portuguese, this verb tense is called pretérito mais que perfeito, okay? It's more than perfect. Pretérito mais que perfeito. So what's the form? You are going to use the verb ter no imperfeito do indicativo mais o verbo principal no participio passado. So it's the verb ter in the imperfect plus the main verb in the past participle. Okay? So the verb ter in the imperfeito is tinha, tinha, tínhamos, tinham and then the past participle of the main verb. Okay? Uh, so, when do we use the past perfect? And it's the same thing as in English, okay? So, you have two actions in the past. Duas ações no passado. So, usamos o pretérito mais que perfeito para indicar qual ação é mais remota, qual ação aconteceu primeiro. So, whenever you have two actions in the past, and then you want to express which one happened first, which one is more remote in the past. Okay, which one happened before in the past, then this uh, verb is going to be in the past perfect, okay? So let's see an example here. Eu acordar minha mãe fazer o café da manhã. So you have two actions. I, and then the verb to wake up, and then my mother uh, to make breakfast. So let's say these two actions happened in the past. So how are you going to say that uh, how are you going to tell me which one happened first? So look uh, how we can say this. Quando eu acordei, minha mãe já tinha feito o café da manhã. So when I, I woke up, my mother had already uh, made coffee. Okay? So this had already, that means this action happened first. So here in parentheses you have... Sua mãe preparou o café, so your mother prepared uh, the coffee, and then you woke up. So when you put these two sentences together, when I woke up, my mother had already prepared breakfast, okay? Então, quando eu acordei, minha mãe já tinha feito o café. So it's exactly uh, like English, okay? So let's practice these exercises here. Uh, minha mãe telefonar, eu saí. So you have two actions, my mother and the verb to call, and I, the verb to leave. So you want to say, when my mother called, I had already left, okay? So you left first and then your mother called, okay? So um, let's put these two sentences together. Quando, quando minha mãe, tio no ar, quando minha mãe telefonou, so this first action, the, the action that is more recent, is going to be in the pretérito perfeito, ok? Quando minha mãe telefonou, vírgula, eu já tinha, so já means already, ok? Eu já, and now, pretérito mais que perfeito, eu já tinha, and then the past participle of the verb sair, it's an IR verb, so idu, okay? Take out the IR and add idu. Eu já tinha saído, acento agudo no A, okay? Quando minha mãe telefonou, eu já tinha saído. Número dois, ele terminar a faculdade, ele comprar um carro. So, he to finish college, he to buy a car. So, you want to say that when he finished college, he had already bought a car. Okay, so he bought a car first and then he uh, graduated, then he finished school, okay? Então, quando ele terminou, quando ele, so this verb, the, the verb that's more recent is going to be in the pretérito perfeito. Terminou, quando ele terminou a faculdade, vírgula, ele, so he had already bought a car, ele já tinha, já tinha, and the verb comprar, so, take out the AR and add ADU, ok? Ele já tinha comprado um carro. A festa começar, ele beber cinco cervejas. So, the party, the verb começar means to begin, and then ele beber cinco cervejas. He to drink five beers. So, you want to say, when the party started, he had already drunk five beers, ok? Então, quando, 
That's not a good idea, né? <laughs> Quando a festa começou, so it's going to be in the pretérito perfeito, ok? Quando a festa começou, a uh, Cecidilha, vírgula, ele já tinha bebido cinco cervejas. Cervejas. Eu chegar em casa, minha mãe fazer o jantar. So, I arrive home, my mother uh, make dinner. So, when my, when my father arrived home, my mother, when my father arrived, my mother had already made dinner. Então, quando meu pai, so this first verb is going to be in the pretérito perfeito, quando meu pai chegou em casa, vírgula, minha mãe... Minha mãe já tinha, já tinha feito o jantar. Remember that the verb fazer is the past participle is irregular, right? Uh, a polícia le levar o criminoso para o hospital, ele morrer. So, the police to take the criminal to the hospital and he to die. So, when the police took the criminal to the hospital, he had already died. So, he, he died and, uh, and then the police took him to the... And then the police arrived, uh, took him to the hospital. Então, quando a polícia... Polícia levou, pretérito perfeito o criminoso para o hospital, vírgula, ele já tinha morrido. O verbo morrer has two past participles, right? Morto e morrido. Uh, here, because you have the verb ter, you have to use the regular, uh, the regular past participle, ok? Shakespeare morrer, ele escrever mais de 40 peças e 100 sonetos. Então, Shakespeare to die, he to write more than 40 plays in 100 sonnets. Então, quando Shakespeare... Uh, Shakespeare morreu, pretérito perfeito, quando ele morreu, ele já tinha... Escrito, the verb escrever is also irregular, ele já tinha escrito 40 peças, so peças means plays, ok? 40 peças e 100 sonetos. Sonnets. Eu dormir, fazer todo o dever de casa. So, I to sleep, to do all my homework. Então, quando, so when I slept, quando eu, quando eu dormi, vírgula. Pretérito perfeito. Eu já tinha... The verb fazer is irregular. The past participle. Eu já tinha feito todo meu dever de casa. I had already done all my homework. Todo meu dever de casa. Ok? Isso. Obrigada, gente. Até a próxima.